Oh, look at this box. This scares me. <laughs> filter capacitor substitution box. Filter capacitor. And so uh, it's got a discharge setting, which is kind of cool. Switch to discharge before changing value. All right. Uh, it's got this and this. So what does that mean? It's got something going in, something coming out. Uh, plus minus plus 2,500 plus minus 15 volts. I, I, that's kind of strange looking. Uh, I guess those are microfarads. 4, 8, oh, 100 microfarads. 600 volts, 400, yeah, it looks a bit dangerous. You know, this thing looks somewhat familiar. <laughs> the the price tag and everything, it just looks familiar. I think I've seen it, but I didn't buy it at the time, so, but now I own it. Uh, let's see here. Let's take it apart because this is really weird. $12.50, so somebody probably paid that for it. And uh, yeah, it's a, a wooden box. Oh, look, and again, somebody drew on the side saying, it, it's my capacitor box. So yeah, let's... Uh, so the, the, the resistor box and the capacitor box, I think were a match pair, which is kind of cool. But yeah, let's open this thing up. See what, see what scary, it's heavy. We'll see what kind of scary stuff is inside. All right, are you ready for the big reveal here? Oh, what is inside this thing? Oh, oh, there it is. Look at that. <laughs> Some big caps down there. Whoa, whoa. So this is uh, this is for designing radios or troubleshooting radios, right? You got these big, high voltage, fairly low capacitance uh, type stuff. I mean, you, you can imagine those in, in radios, right? And then it's got a bunch of these uh, paper uh, caps, so. Probably all dead. Oh, one, maybe that one, blue one, might be okay. I don't know. Um, yeah. Interesting. Very interesting. I'm not still not quite sure about the in and the out, though. Uh, hmm. Plus and the minus. Still has me confused. There's a... Five hundred microfarad on the output, so there's that five hundred, and there's a two thousand here. These are fifteen. I don't know. Maybe these are just separate. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is just a separate little doohickey on the side. So these are. 500 and 2000, but only up to 15 volts. So this is for your, like your your low voltage supply work And then for your high voltage supply work was over here. So it, it's a it's a two-in-one uh, the two-in-one box well, There you go Let's uh, get out a capacitance meter and see if we have any capacity left uh, 500 microfarads, okay that one works and how about this the one? 2000. Mm, nope. Nope. Or it's bigger than this can, this meter can measure. I'm not sure how, what's the largest capacitance this can measure. Let's try the, try the other side. Let me see if I can get the glare off of everything. Uh, okay, use and discharge. We'll start on four. Use. Nothing. Eight, nothing. Ten, nothing. Twenty, <laughs> nothing. Thirty, nothing. Yeah, I think these guys are dry. Uh, Eighty, a hundred. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we got nothing left. I don't think we got nothing left on any of them. Let's let's go inside and measure directly to see if I'm maybe the switch is dead or 
wiring is dead or something. So let's uh, let's measure this one directly here. Where's the oh, where's the negative? Oh, it's on this side. Uh, yeah, it's right here. Oh. Okay. Ten. Okay, so maybe the switch is dead. Ten microfarads, and let's go over one. Uh, this one seems to be not cooperating. Your C's. Four microfarads. Oh, I can't read it. This is supposed to be. I still can't read it. Sorry. That's yeah, supposed to be 10. This is 10 and this is 10. Yeah, most of them are dead. Yeah, most of them are dead. Wow. What a box. What a box. Would I ever use such a box? No. <laughs> I don't think I ever would. Uh, I got these big giant guys down there. Let's uh, let's see if I can measure one of those. See if they're any good or not. Uh, move you guys. Oh, okay. So here's here's this guy's ground. So we'll hook him up. We'll hook him up. And then this positive comes here. Right to over here, right down there. That four microfarads. Okay, I might be able to believe that. Uh, let's see, the other wire is this one. It goes over to here. Oh, we already measured that one. That one, we couldn't measure. That was that tooth. Yeah, I don't think these are working. <laughs> I think all this all whole this whole box is dead. Um, so, yeah, do I want a working box? No, I don't think I do. I don't think I do. Do I? I don't think I do. Um, I don't work on. I just don't work on radios, and these would be valuable for that discharge. These are kind of useless. Oh well, that's a fun looking sign. Let me find somebody who wants something like this. It'll probably end up on eBay someday. If somebody reworked it, works on vintage radios, it might be a valuable thing to have in the in the lab. Anyway, there you go. Once again, no brand name. Anybody knows who made these things? Let me know. Curious. Um, pretty nice. Big thick aluminum front panel. Nice big HP knobs. Uh, HP HP used that that brand of knob. I don't think this is an HP. I don't think this is an HP device though. Anyway, there you go.